Oh, boy. I hope you're ready for this one. Hey, it's Robbie, W1RCP. We're studying the Amateur Extra License. That is Element 4. It's the final frontier. And today, uh, this one here has uh, some interesting stuff that I hope can make it easy for you. Um, memorization is mostly the key here. What is the modulation index of an FM signal? That is going to be the ratio of frequency deviation to modulating signal frequency. This has nothing to do with the carrier frequency, so keep that in mind. That's one of the answers later on. So the modulation index is frequency deviation divided by the modulation frequency. Do I know what that is? No, I do not. But that's the answer for you to get through. All right. Number two says, how does the modulation index of a phase modulated emission vary with RF carrier frequency? And like I said, it does not depend on the RF carrier frequency whatsoever. Now, the rest of these are math, and they're pretty easy. You take the deviation and divide that by the highest modulating frequency, and you get a modulation index of this divided by that. And they're all like that. So 3 divided by 1 is 3. 6 kilohertz divided by 2 kilohertz, the kilohertz drops off, you get 3. 6 divided by, six divided by 2 is 3. 5 divided by 3 is 1.67. 7.5, that is your maximum frequency swing or deviation, and 3.5 kilohertz is 2.14. Alrighty, that's six questions out of the way right there. Orthogonal frequency division multiplexing is a technique used for which types of amateur communications, and these are digital modes. Now, the other day, and I say the other day, I recorded a video where I went, oh man, I wish I hadn't have even started mentioning this or something to that tune. And what I couldn't remember was an eye chart. So that is uh, when, when I was looking at RMS, uh, Win RMS or WinLink, one of those two, uh, WinLink, there is a spot that you can look at an eye chart. So OFDM is just that there's different frequencies and they just mean different things, different bits, and they could be organized in different bits. And here's what it looks like. So if you have these frequencies, this is the I and Q I diagrams. So this is where they're crossing paths and such, and it should look really pretty. You shouldn't see a bunch of off stuff. When you see noise, you start to see a huge deviation. And this is what I was talking about. The accuracy of each of those tones is what determines the bits. And that's how you can send uh, a whole bunch of letters and stuff. It's <laughs> really neat. Or um, e not just letters, but digital data, period. So OFDM, just know that, uh, remember D for digital modes. Number eight, what describes OFDM, or orthogonal frequency division multiplexing? And that is a digital modulation technique using subcarriers at frequencies chosen, chosen to avoid intersymbol interference. And these are intersymbols right here. So you don't want something that's going to be too close to the next one. And that's why you see that these little circles here, or groups, these are your shot groups, so to speak, that is how it determines what the binary data is going to be from these digital signals. What is deviation ratio? Well, this is just that question again. The ratio of maximum carrier frequency deviation to the highest uh, audio modulating frequency. So that's the deviation ratio. And it's just the same as modulation index. It's a deviation to the modulating signal frequency. 
So if you can remember that, you should be able to get the ratio of maximum carrier frequency deviation to the highest audio modulating frequency. It's just a deviation. Same thing. Deviation by the mo audio modulating frequency. You got this. Frequency division multiplexing is, a, is OF. DM. It's again dividing the transmitted signal into separate frequency bands that carry a different data stream. OFDM, FDM, same diff. And that's where you get this right here. Frequency instead of what the next one is going to be talking about. What is digital time division multiplexing? That's where two or more signals are arranged to share discrete time slots, time slots of a data transmission. So let's see, digital time. How many of these say time in them? That doesn't say time. That doesn't say time. This one does say time. So you can remember that one with time. Time. And I hope that that has made sub element 8 bravo a little bit easier to understand if you need to go through this again and maybe skip past me getting excited about actually remembering something this is the ofdm is what made me think of it because of those different pitches or frequencies that's used in that they have to match up if they're off by a little bit it might be close enough to hit the shot group but if they fall outside of the shot group then they're going to be ignored um, if you're and and these this this right here is pretty much noise free. If you have noise on your band, then these start to get sort of fuzzy, and you don't want to have fuzz in them or deviation. Okay, so that's eight Bravo. I hope this one was pretty easy. I feel like it was pretty easy. It's just a little bit of memorization, a little bit of math. Remember, you only get one. You only get one question out of this little group on the test. Okay, we are getting close. I think you have 11 videos left to watch. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Uh, it takes the time that I've spent here at the kitchen table with the uh, ceiling fan going around and the air conditioner and having to balance the dogs barking and children coming through the kitchen and supper being made uh, it's it's been a lot and some of these have been done at night most of them have been during the day with natural light but you've seen probably me sitting here in the somewhat dark with the more yellowish tint from the kitchen lights and it's it's been a blast I, I you could tell the days that i've done different videos i've had a different shirt on um, you can tell when I've gotten up if my dirty old hat has changed or if it fell off or stuff like that. So the next couple going to be in this nice blue shirt. All right. I've talked enough. You probably stopped by now. If you didn't, go ahead and tell me in the comments what color is my shirt because I'm colorblind. All right. Y'all have a great one. 72 or 73? W1RCP.